ಭೋಯಂತು ವಿಶ್ವ ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ
Bilirubin of the mother at time ranges between 1.2 to 1.5. So slight rise, even in maternal bilirubin is noted when she is having maternal syndrome. How you differentiate it from the acute fatty liver of pregnancy? All these features will be there in AFL also. Then, then how to differentiate? Blood group, very simple. Liver function test. ICT is positive, blood group is grouping, negative. Grouping. So you can very well say that this is not acute fatty liver, this is something different. No, no? ultrasound in fetal, how do, how do you know the fetal affected by Monitoring ultrasound. rather. Hmm. Ultrasound. ICT positive monitoring and ultrasound. Come Middle on. cerebral artery speaks uh, to the mm. Role of placental thickness in ultrasound? More than, more than four, four centimeters, placental megalithus. Role of approximate placental mass in ultrasound? Uh, more than or APF. equal to half the weight of the fetus. Amniotic fluid in ultrasound? Will be there. Subcutaneous fat in ultrasound. Uh, Which organ Hepat you expect is enlarged here? Why? 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 Because, because of, of the destruction of the RBC and uh, extramedullary hematopoiesis. hematopoiesis. Mm. Okay. Why the MCA flow should be more? What does it indicate? Anemia will be fetal, fetal anemia. anemia. Brain sparing effect. Because Prognosis of the fetus if there is massive fetal ascites. Yeah. You've got massive fetal ascites. Good, bad, poor, worst. Bad, bad prognosis. Sure. Prognosis of the baby if there is massive pericardial effusion. Poor prognosis. Fluid filled spaces. Poor yeah, prognosis. Exactly. Third Means space. What? Poor prognosis. Hmm. Poor prognosis. Poor prognosis. Anything more? Okay. Hmm. Now you want to terminate this pregnancy with massive fe fetal ascites. Will you have a problem? 28 weeks also. The abdominal circumference is very huge. Hmm. We have faced it in days when sonology was not there. The chances of survival are uh, less. Let's forget how to deliver. What's the problem? <laughs> okay. So cause of, cause of death of this baby in utero. Cause of death of this baby after delivery. Yeah. Both. Both of them, they are different. Cause of death of this baby in utero, and where there is ascites and pericardial effusion, and cause of death after delivery. Cardiac failure. Cardiac yes. failure because of what? Severe anemia and cardiac failure in utero, sir. Anything else? It's on the high of failures. Hmm. Hey, man. So you can uh, do an ultrasound uh, guided paracentesis, and then the delivery becomes. Inputs from here, Okay, clear? Yes, sir. Ultrasound guided paracentesis. Paras so intrauterine, what blood group you prefer to give if it is intrauterine exchange of blood, blood group? O negative cross matched blood group. O negative cells has cross to be given and what, what, so what is that, how you calculate, how much they should be put in intravenous, how much they should be put in peritoneal cavity? In intraperitoneal, more than the weeks of gestation, uh, is there number some of weeks multiplied there is by formula, 10. No. Hmm, to calculate. Number of weeks more than 20 weeks gestation multiplied Plus by 10. The formula is there. Okay. One do patient we? is very poor, she cannot afford the anti globulin, but somebody has given her kind enough to give after one month money to buy. Will you advise her to take it or not? Or up she will say it's too late now. Up to 20 weeks, even up to 20 uh, weeks. Uh, how do we know that the, uh, the baby, the fetus is in critical situation and that baby may need transfusion? How do we know? Yeah, okay. good question. Hmm. How we come to know that the baby will require intrauterine, intraperitoneal, or intravascular transfusion? When Lily start shows. Uh, Fetal anemia when baby comes out. When we wanted to do it intrauterine, in how you come to know? In utero, by cardiosynthesis. In cardiosynthesis, when hepatocarcinoid is then less than 30%. Before that, percent. before that. So no, before there that. is a change gradually from invasive, from that of these pro different procedures that we used to do earlier. That amniocentesis and that of this uh, chart formation 
and that is we are changing lily now. chart and all these things uh, we don't do now no we are not doing it lily you have said that one think of that you have made one point you have made the rest that we discussed in detail you see we go by the benzoyl artery flow blood when the doppler ultrasound shows uh, more, uh, in how much is the how much is the critical value more than 1.5 millimeters of medium uh, nahi more than two standard deviation mm -hmm. more than two standard deviation fixed systolic velocity of the middle cerebral mca pcv mca middle cerebral artery fixed systolic velocity more than two standard deviation above that indicates the fetus is in critical situation and that suggests fetus is impending to die so that's the point where we need to go for that of the cardiocentesis and assessment of the what how do we assess finally that the critical situation we need to go for extensive that is the hematocrit value hematocrit and at the same time you get the advantage of all the other parameters like your blood group hematocrit that of the antibody bilirubin when you do cardiocentesis everything can be done ah, in that oxygen saturation that everything it. how much is the oxygen saturation uh, currently the fetus is on so that you go for the extensive transfusion after normal What are the investigations? What is the first investigation which I should do? First, if I blood do that, I will not do rest of the things. Blood grouping and type. Grouping first and is type. blood group of the baby. Blood if type. it is negative, need not to go for any investigation. If it is positive, go then go for hematocrit, hematocrit, bilirubin, peripheral smear, or DCT. Yes, sir. If it is positive, then DCT. Right? Right. Last question. Primary gravida comes to you for regular checkup. O negative. Husband is positive. right not taken any like no okay, mtp okay, done okay, nothing okay. is done kya hai and also there is no history of previous history of blood transfusion what is the role of prophylactic anti d globulin is it indicated in modern obstetrics what is your opinion last at 20 yes, at 20 ic ict is done and if it is negative uh, one dose can be given at two doses should be given at 28 weeks and again four weeks at that's all it helps there is a very good cost benefit analysis also kaisa remember karenge abhi we suno miss mary ask doctor can i marry my blood group is negative and that's my worry doc said don't worry me and antd will take care of your little fairy some test before ict some test after dct and you will have a safe delivery after all what's the problem with rh isomerization it is just the color of peach and strawberry rarely now we get a melon watery melon watery ka matlab kya hai hydrophytalis rarely you get you get only neonatal anemia at the most a little jaundice exaggerated physiological so peach exaggerated physiological jaundice anemia strawberry so that's only thing you can remember chalo good abio incompatibility she has got abio incompatibility What is her chance of developing RH isoimmunization? Three percent, sir. Reason? Protective effect. Uh, the antibodies are used. Anti 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 antibodies immediately destroy the fetal yeah. RBC. So all the sites are blocked antigen antibody, so they will be having. It's a blessing. Maybe your incompatibility means RH yeah, isoimmunization need not be there. I think that's enough. Very good. You answered very well. Glycated ovum patient. Yeah, last one. Six weeks glycated ovum, unembryonic pregnancy. Patient is educated. She said RH negative. Husband is positive. What about NTD after D and E? No need to. No need to. Need not do. Seven weeks pregnancy with vesicular hormone, complete hormone. We have partial. We have done suction in NTD. No need not to. Give, uh, need not give uh, NTD. In case of complete D, we need not give a. Third common scenario now. <laughs> Four days earlier, <laughs> patient did UPT. It was faintly positive. Day seven, she got the pill. She said, "I am negative. Husband was po husband is positive. I don't know whether that was a weakly positive UPT. Shall I take entry?" Give the benefit of doubt, Baba. <laughs> called a menstrual abortion not confirmed kada yes, yes. 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 yes.